hi hello welcome to tech harvest so this is the video on cron jobs in linux part 2 so on this video i am going to explain the what are the fields available on cron jobs and what are the value should be on that fields so on previous video we will see some basic commands on cron jobs so i am going to review on that command and the first one is cron tab hyphen l this will the list out the cron jobs which was available in current user and the second one is cron tab hyphen e this is for editing the cron jobs and the third one is cron job hyphen r this will be remove the cron job and one more is cron job hyphen u this is the related about the user commands you need to know about these cron job commands i just given the i button on top you just click on and prep for the video so now let's get into the video So before getting to this video, please subscribe Tech Harvest Foundation. So for viewing the cron jobs fields, just give the cron tab hyphen e and go below of the file. And I just explain what are the things available on this. So first one is yum, that's called minute, and second one is hatch, that's called hawo, and third one is day. of the month so that means that day and fourth one is month and fifth one is day of the week and last final one is command so now i just explain what are the value should be on the field so i'm going to explain what are the fields available on this so the first one is minute the value should be Zero to fifty nine. Okay, so this is the first field, and and the second field, the value should be zero to twenty three. So the hours that should be zero to twenty three, and third field. day of the month okay the value should be 1 to 31 okay and fourth that is called month the value should be should be 1 to 12 or or you and you can give the first three digit of the month like this jan to december so that should be in caps or that should be in small okay you can give like this also and fifth field day of the week and the value should be Zero to seven, or Sunday to Saturday. So same like month, you should give one the first three digit. That should be on small R caps. Okay, not small caps collaboration. It should be small R caps. Okay, these are the fields available in cron jobs, and this value should be in. Uh, so this is the value should be in the cron jobs and the last final one is command so you if you have command you just give the command or you need to mention the path of the script okay so for reference i just type path of the script okay so this things are uh, available in cron jobs if you have any doubt related about the field please mention in command thanks for watching please subscribe tech harvest for getting the linux knowledge video and simple